Javier Builds a Bridge, Chapter 1, The Crossing. Javi, wait for me, my little stepsister whined, but I kept running. Reaching the riverbank, I leaped onto the rope and plank footbridge. It wobbled and rocked side to side under my feet. I jumped off the bridge and grabbed the sweet gum tree branch hanging low over my head. I dangled and then let myself drop onto the pebbly bank, ready to run. I couldn't wait to get to my fort. I wanted to finish painting it before the big family party we were having the next day. Everyone was coming to our house in Texas to celebrate the anniversary of Abuelita and Abuelito, my grandparents. Javi, Luisa called. I wanted to leave her there, but something made me stop. I turned around. At the opposite bank, she put a little white sneaker on a plank of the bridge and pulled it back. The bridge was still swaying from my leap. Her face was wet with tears. I groaned. Don't you want to go color? You can use my markers. Javi, she sniffled. All right, wait a second. I walked back to take her hand. The stream flowed brown beneath us. Luisa appeared between the boards. Her body stiffened. She watched the water. Come on, you're a big girl, I said. But I was ready. I was really thinking about how little she was. Being a new big brother wasn't always as much fun as I thought it would be. Before Mama married Joe, I used to be able to play by myself on the island. Now Joe's daughter, Luisa, followed me everywhere. Luisa was inching slowly across the bridge. I was in a hurry. Look, Luisa, why don't you let me carry you the rest of the way, I asked. I bent down to pick her up, but she pulled away. The bridge tottered and lurched. Plunk! Splash! We were in the water.